Hello everyone, Berserk Head here and welcome to my series called Total War Tactics in which I show you many different tactics used throughout history and teach you how to perform them in the games of the Total War franchise. Today, I'll be taking a look at the new box formation which is very famous among Total War players and many of them actually get very pissed by it. I'm going to explain the theory behind this tactic and give you examples of how to use it properly. Let me start with the theory. This is what a new box looks like and you can probably already see why it's called a new box. It's because it's very easy to form, it looks impossible to break because there is no way to outflank it and well, it's a box. There are actually several ways to break a new box depending on the situation but I'm going to explain that in a different episode when we get to the more advanced tactics. Well there is really nothing complicated about the new box, it's pretty straightforward. You get your phalanx in a circular or a square formation and you keep them in defensive mode. It is also a good idea to put your skirmish units inside the new box so that they can be well protected but still effective. Now let me show you a battle scenario. Of course this is a battle against the AI and things will look much different in a multiplayer battle, especially if you are playing against an advanced player but you will hopefully get the idea. My army consists of 4 units of Spartans, 4 units of Slingers and 3 units of Greek Calf. I put my Spartans in a new box formation and I keep my Slingers inside the box. It is very important to keep the defensive mode of your Spartans on and the skirmish mode of your Archers off because otherwise Spartans might break formation or your skirmishers may try and run away and cause chaos around your new box. I hide my cavalry in the forest so that I may perform a forest ambush when my enemy engages. Here are the swordsmen of my opponent and as they approach my Slingers open fire which is exactly what I want. Here my enemy attacks my new box and I'm ready to reveal my hidden cavalry. I attack the enemy archers with one of my units and I quickly rout them. I perform a hammer and anvil on the swordsman unit which I'm able to rout too and I order my last unit of cavalry to attack this unit of swordsmen so that they can keep them away from the rest of my calf. That way I manage to rout two of the enemy units for minimal amount of time and I'm able to run away with my cavalry and save them for more hammer and anvils. And now the most important question, how to build a new box in an effective way? First, let's start by how to not build a new box. This is a bad new box, this is a bad new box, this is a bad new box and this is redline camping which is against the rules. But what's wrong with these formations? Well, take a look at the flanks. In all of these cases the flanks are more or less exposed. So how to build a new box in an efficient way? Here is how. You use 4 units of any type of phalanx and you deploy them in a square. But notice the way they are standing in. Look how every unit is deployed from the front line of the unit to their left to the front line of their unit to their right. This way the square is covered with pikes on every side and it is still not impenetrable but it's going to be much harder for your enemy to get through. And last but not least, remember, I don't encourage anyone to use this tactic not because it's against the rules as many players claim but rather because in a new box formation you have absolute lack of mobility and you are completely relying on your enemy's mercy. Think well before forming a new box, observe your enemy's army, if they have a lot of archers, horse archers, artillery or basically any type of skirmish units it is a bad decision to form a new box. Same thing with advanced players, if you know that the one you are playing against has a good amount of skill with total war, chances are they are going to find a way to penetrate your new box. Anyways, these were all the basics of the new box formation. I showed you what its capabilities are and how to use it properly, so hopefully after watching this video you'll know a little bit more about Total War. My name is Berserkhead and I hope you liked the video. See you next time, goodbye.